Say hello to Robocrop. Artificial intelligence being trained and tested at a farm in South Yorkshire. One day it'll take over the job of spraying weed killer. At the moment, it's moving on its own and it's learning. The treads on the robot are ideal for Sheffield Tilly Farms. The two cameras on the front are its eyes. On the top is a laptop, it's its brain, it's learning what a weed is and what the crop is. It's also got GPS so the farmers know exactly where it is. Its real name is Ibex, after the mountain goat, adept at scaling difficult terrain. But his programmers have named him Marvin. It's a paranoid android. It's also very careful of uh, uh, avoiding humans and bumping into walls. It's never bumped into anything during autonomous trials. Dr Charles Fox's family has farmed this land for 250 years, but he wanted to go into robotics. Now he's back and Marvin is out on the hilly fields he knows best. We're increasingly looking at machine learning methods um, which can learn to recognise the weeds for, for themselves. This is done by taking tens of thousands of images of weeds, um, putting them through neural network models and learning to find the features for detection. But being back on his home farm means he's also got to impress Dad. Well, he's only got this little field because it's chewing it up as it's gone round and round every day since October, but... Yes, it's useful. <laughs> it's got a market because there's a demand for people to replace boring jobs with a machine. Fitted with a sprayer, the robot will be able to find individual weeds and spray them rather than the whole field being covered in herbicide. Lock up your tractors, Marvin is coming for them. James Vincent, BBC Look North, South Yorkshire.